In this video, what I'm gonna do for y'all is I'm gonna go over the Astral PFD sandal. You know, Astral's been around for a while. They, they, they do one of the best life vests I've ever used, the Astral Green Vest. I really like that vest a lot. And they also, they've been making shoes for years. I have some Hi-Ax, some Razzlers, some Low Yak, you name it. I've got a lot of Astral shoes. And I've always loved this brand. I love the rubber that they use. And what I have here today, I just got my Astral PFDs in. just want to kind of do a quick unboxing and kind of overview for you guys. I have not used these yet. And what they're trying to do they're wanting to get into that raft guide type market these are made for kayakers and raft guides and just casual fishing is where I'd probably use them the most for me anyway but because I do like my my high axe and my razzlers so I doubt I'll use them for paddling before I start funny because I was at the Whitewater Center and I had not got these in yet and I'd ran into a, a legend out there his name is Dennis Huntley the dude's been paddling for 60 plus years and he had on a pair of these and I get it you know he was wearing socks with them so you guys when somebody's been kayaking for you know six decades if they want to wear socks colored socks with their sandals oh well I listened to what he had to say but I asked him his opinion on them and he'd been using them for like a month and I'll go ahead and I'll click over to that video now where I talked to Dennis and he went over them so yeah check it out we got Dennis Huntley how's it going man nice hey, to meet buddy. you Good and check you. it out he has the Astral. Those are the PFDs. Those are the good whitewater shoes. Those are the PFDs. What are you thinking of these? Check. They, they work good in my scorch. There you go. And so, they, they what do you work. normally wear with kayak? The high axe, which yeah. is these. That's exactly what. Yeah, I'm these are the high axe. Yeah, I do like them, and I've used them a whole bunch on whitewater so far. The shredder, the scorch, the canoe. I might paddle my canoe in them today a little bit. In that first loop right there to make them tighter so because the, the straps expand a little bit when they're wet so the straps stretch a little bit when they're wet and you put it on that first one when you're just kicking around you put it in the back yeah. but when it's in white water you go in the first one. I go in the first one yeah yeah and do you cinch down I guess you cinch down the buckles pretty good uh, don't really have to the shoe fits good already. Yeah. Yeah. but you wear he wears high axe on his dry suit because of keeping your feet warm. He gave an excellent point to me I didn't think about, but when we're on a dry suit, it's probably cold outside, so we want to keep our feet warm anyway. I think these will stay together good. How old are those? Those look fairly new. About a month. A month old, he's still going strong. Yeah. So Dennis likes them. Yeah. Dennis is good chatting with you, buddy. Yeah. Thanks yeah. a lot. All right, so just to go over these for y'all, you can see this little hook right here. Is that not a cool little hook? So if you want to go a little tighter, in the heel right here two options to go tighter you can go forward and wrap around the back of the heel to get a little tighter and you can tighten down right here that's something i've not seen on any other sandal so you can tighten down let's take these out you can tighten down right here and here like a little looser fit in the back or you could pull that that out and go more with a tighter fit right there i don't know how that would hold up over time but you know time will tell on these things best things about astral is their G Series rubber. Oh boy, if you've not used any Astral shoes, the G Series rubber is some of the best rubber ever made on a shoe. They did used to have to have Stealth rubber because that's owned by Adidas now and in 510 and Adidas. So they don't have access to the Stealth rubber anymore. If you do their shoes like that, look at all of those little pores in there is that not cool and then watch they just kind of disappear so my theory is that each one of those little pores help grab on and hold on to wet rocks a lot better this upper section is made out of 100 percent recycled polyester so that's really cool that they're using recycled polyester to get all that and this little section here i think is more designed for a raft guy that wants to stick his foot up under one of the chambers i think it's called a thwarp or whatever where you go up under one of the chambers in a raft so you can kind of like pry and it kind of gives you something to hang on to they do have a little tab here for grabbing a hold of and pulling or just hanging up and letting them dry it's got a flat flex grip right here it does not have an arch to it it's got an arch on the inside here but the outside is very flat it doesn't cave in so you got a better contact with like wet rocks when you're walking up and down wet rocks which is very important than these sandals well they're super like smushy as far as the foam goes right there yeah i just want to do a quick unboxing and i'll leave links below where you could pick a pair of these up and if you guys have used any of these sandals yet let me know in the comments below what your opinion is on this because i like hearing what you guys have to say and like getting feedback on things like this but yeah thanks a lot everybody Thanks for watching and um, 
I will uh, catch you guys next time. Woo! Very light, too. They're very light. All right. Let's go get on water. <laughs>